What is up guys, it is Echo and welcome to a Minecraft title update 14 Anvils Explained video. Now Anvils are confirmed to be in title update 14, we've seen them from the screenshot and judging from the comments on my video, you guys are very excited to see it, it's going to be a very useful tool and I cannot wait to show you on console version. I also feel this would definitely be one of the best things added to the console version because it's so unique and has a lot to offer. Now believe it or not, the Anvil was first announced on the 10th of October 2012. Now that was for the PC version, we're now going close to 2014, so look at the distance compared to Xbox to PC for it to be introduced. Now the Anvil, as you can see on screen right now, this is the crafting recipe. You need three iron blocks and you need four iron ingots. Now you're placing the blocks of iron across the top and you're placing one ingot in the middle and three across the bottom. Now believe it or not, that is 25 iron. So this does require a lot of iron to use the whole system of an anvil. And this can be quite frustrating if you're in survival. As for creative, well I'm sure you can just place it down as normal. So let's talk about the pros and the cons of an anvil. Now before I explain to you how it's used and how it works, I want to be talking about the gravity system and the falling damage of an anvil. Now I'm pretty sure you're all aware of the cartoon program Tom and Jerry. In that, they have anvils when it falls on characters, yes it hurts. This is very similar to the way it works in Minecraft. If you try and place an anvil in the sky and it has no block underneath, it will fall down on your character and this will damage your character's hearts. It takes away one to two and a half hearts, so do be careful. Now the anvil requires a solid block. This can be wood, this can be stone, this can be anything that is a solid block placed underneath. Just like I explained before, the anvil requires a solid block underneath. Now if you're trying to place it in the air, it will fall down until it reaches a solid block. This will do damage to the anvil and in the center of the anvil will be like a cracked effect. Also you'll notice that it will make a metallic sound, so do be very careful when you're placing your anvils. Now every time you use an anvil, it has a 12% chance of being damaged. This is just normal in Minecraft, this is just wear and tear of the anvil itself. Now there's two types of damage, there's slightly damaged and there's very damaged. The more you use the damaged system, this means that the anvil has more chance of being disappeared. Now it is affected by sand and gravel, so if you do take the sand and gravel underneath the anvil, it will continue to fall down and it will do exactly what I did explain to you before. Now anvils are used to repair tools and armor, also you can enchant items with enchanted books. So this is kind of like a quick way to enchant your tools instead of using the likes of an enchantment table. Now the repair system is very good, but I wouldn't recommend repairing the likes of wooden swords or stone. It's more iron and above. I would recommend using many iron because you're going to need to stack it up anyway. Also, every time you're doing this, it does come at a small cost of experience levels. So make sure you have some good experience before adventuring with the anvil. Now you can rename your items and blocks using the anvil, this can make your tools specific to your character, you can name them whatever you want, it can be something stupid or something realistic. Now the whole concept of enchanting your, your items with the books is very very good because you can take them with you, whether you take the anvil, the enchanted books and your tool, it's pretty cool because repairing your tools is something that I feel was definitely good to be introduced into Minecraft. Now hopefully you did enjoy this little bit of an explanation. I have placed the wiki page for the anvil in the description, check it out, it's quite interesting and I found it very very useful. Like I said, I do strongly think anvils will be one of the best additions to be introduced in title update 14. They are very useful and have lots of different combinations. Now I'm sure a lot of you guys have played PC before so you might ex already know about anvils and the whole concept of the system, but it's kind of good to refresh your memory when you're playing on Minecraft Xbox. Apart from that, I'm Echo X Soldier, I hope you have enjoyed today's video, remember to hit that like button and I'll catch you next time. Peace out and have a nice day.